Custy graphics. Dear, dear future Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maureen Shani. Thank you so much guys for always supporting me, coming back to watch my videos and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe. <coughs> so, today we are going to surprise my friend. She had a birthday yesterday and um, I just wrote happy birthday. So she didn't expect anything from me and she was so mad at me. My friend's name is Linda. Probably you've seen her on my videos or you've seen me together with her in different places. Linda is turning 23. <laughs> I think she's the youngest in the team. So come with me as we get her flowers from Mike the florist. Is that what you call them? I had told her to wait for me, but probably she was so tired to wait and she went to get a matatu to go home. But I was here busy with Mike trying to learn how to pluck the flowers, maybe? I don't know. I told Mike I wanted the best kind of flowers and actually he gave me the best and he was like, you know, I've given you a lot of flowers and this, blah, 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 and such kind of things. So the first process I learned was to remove the leaves, but he told me that the red, the, the red flowers, is that red or maroon? I'm colorblind. Comment in the comment section and tell me what color is that you see. So I was accompanied by a friend, a Vivian, and she's the one taking this a video. Oh, goodness. I have a little homer, so that's why I'm talking like that. So he helped me prepare the flowers. Because actually that is his work. If you are looking for someone to, if you are looking for a place to buy flowers, you can ask for Mike's contact, which I'm going to put at the description. And you can get to buy your own flowers at this place. So, <coughs> Mike was so kind and willing to help. Though we were late, and though we were late, we didn't have time to cheat cheat and cha but i had promised mike that i was going to post his link on my page i believe in supporting people and i think he was doing the best thing because he taught me how to arrange flowers and and cut the roots and i don't know i'm not a florist so i don't understand so this is his location and this place is called city market everybody is selling flowers I did a few inquiries about flowers and how much, what time they sell the most. Uh, Mike said that they sell flowers are from 20 bob, one flower. And he told me that during Valentine is when he makes the most sales. I asked him if he can teach me how to do this business and he was more than willing to teach me. He even asked me to come next time so that he can teach me where to get flowers for wholesale. But I was here to buy. I wasn't here to get flowers for wholesale. And Linda kept calling because she felt like I was lying to her. I thought at first she was so sure that I was surprising her. But funny, she didn't have a clue. Another thing about this place is that you can get to buy um, a few Kenyan uh, stuff like uh, bracelets, the Maasai bracelets, the Maasai shuka, the Maasai, um, the Maasai what else? Everything that consists of Mansai clothing, everything that consists of Kenya, you'll not miss to buy them from this exact place. I 
our flowers are ready and he put a ribbon on it and this really excited me i forgot to ask him how he keeps his flowers so fresh but the next time i'm going to get flowers from this place i promise to tell you but if you do this kind of business and you're watching this video you can tell us how you can preserve flowers for so long without them getting to dry and i, I love flowers as well but i didn't get myself any flower because this was not my day this was alinda's day so i was happy the way he was trying to make that ribbon and and it really looked awesome so uh <coughs> After us getting the flowers, we headed back, but we realized that we hadn't bought any, any other thing. I wanted to buy chocolate for her, but because she kept calling, I was like, maybe she'll leave before we, get, we give her the flowers. And we didn't want to go all the way to her place because we were so tired. And it was a long day. So we went back and passed by the Mansai Korea shop and I was like, oh my goodness, I wish I could show you more clear videos. But I promise the next time I'm coming here, I'm going to show you more and more clear videos. And uh, the next uh, part is that, the next part after that place is that the fact that you will get to buy me or beef of any kind so we got to linda she was seated down and once she saw us she ran to our direction and she was happy so here i was trying to ask her like what, what am i having on my hand you should guess and everything people were gathering and people were even willing to record us they were asking that we give them our phone so that they can record but this is nairobi if you do that you're gonna go back home without a phone so Linda was so happy, but for the first time, I didn't see her crying. Maybe she cried. She cried and I didn't see. So she was so happy because we had already given her the first gift, which was the flowers. So on the next gift, I even removed her and I was telling her to case we didn't have a mic. So that is why I'm doing a voiceover because we didn't have a mic and we had to do everything for ourselves. But I was so excited for her reaction and that was precise. So uh, she was, I was trying to ask her like, what am I having? And she was like, I don't know, maybe a ring? Ah, uh, no, you know, you know a man, so you can have a ring. Imagine it was on the streets of Nairobi while we were recording this. We were not even scared of nothing. We were not scared of nothing. So the first gift was given to her, price, pricelessly, and there were flowers. The second gift, guess what the was the second gift just see how this guy was looking at us i didn't notice i didn't even see him but i'm seeing him here now so the second the first gift was done we had given her a watch and the flowers and the third gift i'm not telling you maybe you should ask the person who gave her the third gift and she was there trying to give her the third gift and everyone was keeping trying to tell her to guess and if she couldn't find what was it so she was supposed to close her her eyes and being handed the flowers everyone was looking at us and i felt a little odd because i felt like oh my goodness what the hell but i wish we had a mic so that we could but it's okay so linda was so excited and what do you think guys did she really like the gift So after her encounter with Vivi and the gift uh, she had given her, which was, my goodness, I can't even say what that was. Maybe when she unboxes, she's going to tell us what that was. So uh, we had to take her back to her, the vehicle so that she can go home because she has been sick lately. She has been sick lately and um, she has been sick lately and we felt like she should go home and rest because she can't even eat anything from a restaurant so we gave her a goodbye hugs and we escorted her to the vehicle in kenya we do my tattoos that's why you can see my tattoos there and it is very affordable it is less than a dollar it is 0 0.05 usd or 50 cents i don't know how you name that in your country and then we had this guy who was like why are you recording me and everything that was our day in a week that was our day in a minute and i hope that you liked our gift but guys 
if you want me to show you around Nairobi, I'm doing travel content and I try to show people around my country. So if you are interested to know of a specific place that you want me to show you, kindly comment in the comment section. If you want to visit and you don't know where to visit in Kenya, you can as well consult. If you want to know something about Kenya, Feel free to comment or reach me out through my social media handles. Thank you for watching up to this end. Until next time, bye bye.